Hey there, and welcome back to Podcast Like a Pro. Today we're going to be talking about how to add metadata to your podcast media files. So uh, first of all, you know, just to get something uh, sort of straight and clear is, is that not adding ID3 tags, which is the metadata that is embedded within the actual MP3 file that you'll upload to your media host and that iTunes and Stitcher and Google Play will serve up, not adding these ID3 tags is really just a loss to your subscribers or, and your potential audience base. This is uh, metadata, just like um, kind of the podcast version of SEO, and we'll talk about that more in the next module. But this is just a, a huge treasure trove of information for these directories like iTunes to search for your podcast and, and let your potential audience find out more about you. So what are ID3 tags exactly? ID3 tags are just metadata about your podcast file that tell uh, search engines and potential listeners uh, a few things. Things like the title of the show itself, the author name, uh, the show name uh, for your podcast as a whole, the description or an excerpt from this particular episode or interview, and the cover image either for the show as a whole or for this episode specifically. So let's get into iTunes now and we'll see exactly how to do this uh, ID3 tagging within iTunes. Okay, here we have in uh, my Finder, I have an audio folder here with just a, a simple audio file. And this is just a piece of music uh, that I use for an intro for one of my shows. Uh, and what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to either double, you can either double click this or uh, drag and drop it into iTunes. I'll drag and drop it. I'll drag and drop it here just uh, to show you. But then once this is in iTunes, go to music and let's say recently added. And you can just right click on this file and say get info. And it brings up the specific information about the, the file itself. And, and so the first thing to do is come over here to options. And instead of the media kind of music, you want to say podcast because that's what it is. And then come back over here to details and it says title. And we'll call this, uh, if this was an actual podcast episode, you would call this uh, episode one music file. Author is Craig Hewitt. The podcast name is the Podcast Motor Show. And that's all you need to insert here. In artwork, you could uh, navigate here and upload the artwork for your for your show. Uh, and then in description, you just put a brief description. iTunes only shows uh, a couple of sentences worth of length here. This is not like a full description like show notes or anything. This is just a, a, a brief description of the file itself and say, say this is the first episode of my podcast. Hope you enjoy. And that's it. So we have it as podcast type and then you come over here to file uh, or to sorting. It shows you the information you just put in there. Cool. So you say, okay. And then it automatically moves it from your music folder to your podcast folder. And then, so now you can see here that it's automatically categorized it as the podcast motor show. And then if you open it here, you can see we have all the information here that we just filled in. And if we come back here to sorting, you can see that kind of metadata. And then if I drag this back to my desktop, open it up, then I can see all the information. Then I can see the information about the file that I just created. So the album name, the title of the episode, the author name. And so that's great. And we see also here that it's 7.4 megabytes just because it's a song and that it's uh, it duration in here, three minutes and four seconds. Cool. And so that's really what ID3 tagging is all about. I use iTunes because kind of like Audacity, it's free. Everyone has it or could use it. And, and it's a great way just to quickly do ID3 tagging for your podcast episodes. Uh, you can do this in some uh, audio editing programs as well, including Audacity. But in Audacity, you cannot embed the image file, only the metadata, like name, title of the episode, show name, and things like that. So if you want to do that in Audacity, you certainly can. When you're exporting the file, you can you can do it. But uh, I like to do it here in uh, in iTunes as well, just because it gives me kind of a succinct way to, to fill in the file, the, the fields that I know that iTunes is looking for. So that's all about ID3 tagging your media files. In the next episode, we're going to talk about how to set up your podcast media host and get your and get your podcast SEO set up for success.